Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we dive into the latest and greatest in technology. Today in this video, we are going to explore a crucial component for any DIY electronic project, the 48 volt voltage booster. Now we'll walk through what it is, how it works, and why it's an essential tool for anyone working with batteries and electrical system. And if you're working on a tech project and need some guidance, we're offering free tech consultation. Whether it's about integrating the 48 volt voltage booster, setting up a security system, or any other tech related questions, we're here to help you out. Just reach out to us through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will get back to you with the personalized advice and tips to make your project a success. So now let's get started. So voltage boosters are vital in various applications, from powering remote devices to creating efficient solar power systems. They allow us to convert a lower unstable voltage to a higher and stable one, ensuring our devices operate optimally. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, Understanding how to safely boost voltage is key to making your project successful. So first, let's talk about what a 48 volt voltage booster is and how it works. So essentially, a 48 volt voltage booster takes a lower input voltage like 12 volt from a battery and steps it up to a stable 48 volt output. It achieves this using a combination of inductors, capacitors, and switches that regulates and boosts the voltage efficiently. Inside the booster, the input voltage is stored in an inductor, then released at a higher voltage through a series of switches and capacitors, and this process ensures the output voltage remains stable, even the input voltage fluctuates. And this stability is crucial for sensitive electronics that requires a consistent power supply. So now let's highlight the key features of our 48 volt voltage booster. Now the regulated voltage output, this device can convert fluctuating input voltage to a stable 48 volt and ensuring optimal operation of your devices and enhance protection since it has built-in mechanism to protect your equipment from voltage spikes, surges, and short circuits. And it's easy to install and integrate seamlessly into your existing electrical system. It has a voltage indicator, so you can monitor the input and output voltage level for quick diagnostics and troubleshooting. Also reduces the current needed for the same power output, minimizing power losses and heat generation. And it comes with a rocket enclosure to withstand harsh operating conditions and ensure a long-term reliability. So now let's dive into a practical application using a battery to power a standard PoE switch for connecting PoE devices, such as our bullet camera. Now typically, a PoE switch requires 48 volt to operate efficiently, and many of us may have a 12 volt battery laying around. So this is where our 48 volt voltage boosters comes in. Using a 12 volt battery alone wouldn't provide the necessary voltage, leading to potential instability and inadequate power supply. But by boosting the 12 volt to 48 volt, now we can ensure that the PoE switch receive a consistent and sufficient power level, enabling it to power our PoE devices like the camera reliably. So now I'm going to walk through the setup step by step. So here's what you need: 48 volt voltage booster, 12 volt battery, outdoor PoE switch. Ethernet cables, wiring tools, bullet camera, and over that side we have a router, network video recorder, and a monitor to display video footage. So let's begin. First, we're going to connect the 12 volt power source to the input terminal of the 48 volt voltage booster. Ensure the connections are secure to avoid any power loss. 
So here we have the brown one is the positive and the blue wire is negative. Let's stuck it in. Twist it tightly. And then we're going to connect the output terminal of the booster to the power input of the PoE switch. Double check the wiring to prevent any short or incorrect connection. So the black one here is negative and the red wire is positive. And again, twist it tightly using a screwdriver. And on here, we can select the output voltage, 24, 36, and 48. Since we're using 48, so 1 and 2 should be on off. And down here, they are already on off. So coming over to our outdoor PUE switch. Looking at the switch, we have the instruction. Port number 1 is positive, 3 is negative. So right here, I already plugged them in positive and negative on port number one and three. So now let's power it up. I plug it in. Let's go back to our battery. We are going to turn on everything and see in action. So as you can see, the voltage indicator shows a stable 48 volt output, ensuring consistent power delivery to our PoE switch. And this stability is crucial for minimizing power losses and maintaining efficient operation. We have the input and the output voltage, so you can check it out. All right, so now we are going to connect our bullet camera using an ethernet cable. And we're going to plug in another ethernet cable connect directly to our router. So let's plug it in first to our bullet camera. To provide both power and data using PUE technology, we can hear the sound of the camera and the indicator lights are on. So let's come over to our router. Let's plug it in to the router and then connect the router with our network video recorder using a short patch cord. So here we go, everything is connected and the HDMI cable is connected to our big screen monitor. So here we go. We are having a live video feed. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is absolutely a live video. So the whole connection is done now. And always remember, safety is paramount when working with electrical system. But don't worry, because our 48 volt voltage booster come with built-in protection against over voltage, over currents, and short circuits, ensuring both your equipment and you stay safe during operation. And here are some innovative ways to use a 48 volt voltage booster in your DIY project. For solar power system, it boosts the voltage from solar panels or wind turbines to charge a higher voltage battery banks. And for remote monitoring system, it can power remote sensors and communication devices with a stable voltage supply. And for electric vehicles, it can enhance the power management of electric vehicle system by providing consistent voltage supply. So there you have it folks, the 48 volt voltage booster is an incredibly versatile tool that can make a significant difference in your DIY projects. Whether you're powering a PoE switch, 
building a solar power system or working on a remote monitoring, this device ensures you have a stable and efficient power supply. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech insights and tutorial. And as always, feel free to leave your questions and project ideas in the comment section below. Thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you in the next video.